Hey guys, this is Jeremy Gillespie, host of the Going For Broke Outdoors podcast, here with a quick clip from episode three of my podcast with Dan Infault, where we discuss Dan's influences, specifically Miles Keller. If you enjoy this clip, please check out the full episode linked in the description below and subscribe so you don't miss future quick clips. Uh, he, he was definitely an influence. Um, uh, I looked up to the guy. I mean, you heard about him a lot back in those days. Um, he was knocking down records all over the place. I mean, he would come to our state and hunt for a week and shoot the new state record. <laughs> you know, and then he'd go someplace else and do something amazing. Uh, he held the Wisconsin state record for a very, very long time with a giant eight-pointer eight um, he arrowed here. I met I met him several times um, at deer shows back in the early 80s and stuff. And uh, he used to always come to my booth and sit down and talk to me. And what impressed me about him is all the big hunters w would treat you like a peon, you know. And um, they'd be looking around to see, you know, what fans are around or whatever while you're trying to talk to them. And you tell they're a lot about themselves. Miles was never like that. You, anybody could have a conversation with him, whether it was a little kid or anybody else, and you'd have his full attention. And what really caught me about him was he was um, – he was very down to earth, like uh, the kind of guy who opens the door for a woman. He was very polite. If you asked him a question about hunting, he'd take the time to answer it. In a day when nobody would answer your questions, they'd tell you it's a secret. They didn't want you to know their secrets. A lot of that's changed nowadays. And that was one of my big things. When I started this whole mission with the um, hunting beast and stuff, it was to change that secret philosophy. That if we could share our tactics and stuff and make more people successful... Um, and bring more people into hunting and, and keep them in hunting, it would make the whole world better, in, in my eyes, for everybody. Um, it really wasn't a contest where it was with a lot of people. And Miles was one of the first people to really be like that, and I looked up to that. And that probably was a big influence in the way that I was always um, more giving because I always thought back to him and you know, how he treated me and stuff. And uh, to this day, we're still friends on Facebook, and every now and then we'll uh, we'll get in the chat.